Hello friends, welcome to the Smart Excellence. This video I'm going to show you about how to do a linear regression. So if you want, you can check the video which is in this format. I have just done the calculation in an easy way to be understood. So B0 replaces A and B1 replaces B. So this is the regression line. So between X and Y. So this is the x values of x and this is the value of y. So this is the first integrating formula and uh, the other stuff. You can refer the video. <clears throat> so how it started is. So this is the way things have been sorted out. So we need to find out what actually is b and what is the linear regression. The linear regression is the answer. So when you have x values and y values, so this is going to be an average. You have to take an average. So I'm going to show you this is already there. So it's just simple one. You have to type average and and select the area. So you will get the average answer. Now this is x minus x. So it will be deducted in the Average, it is taking as a value. It is simple, like we may find the variance. So, this is already done. So, I'm going to show you why it will be like y minus the average of y. So, I'm going to hit F4. So, this is And I'm going to bring it down. So the total will be zero. So now I'm going to do x squared. So it will be two to the power of two. So it is ten. Now I don't require this in linear regression. I don't require y squared. So just I'm going to skip it. So there is no value used in this. Now I'm going to do x in y x bar multiplied by y by y bar. So if you see here, you can see x by x bar multiplied by y bar. So the answer is 6. So you can see the same thing has been done here 10 and 6. Now the formula of the is, is for the tricky one. Now I'm going to see, check the values. Now we need to see why, why the total of y. So this is going to be 4. And x bar, the total of x is this. Now if you see that what actually is b. b is x by x bar. Multiply, multiply, divided by this is x bar square. So you can see it is like 10, and here, oh sorry, x by x bar is equal to, is equal to 6. And x by x bar squared is equal to sum of this. So it will be 10. So b is equal to 6 divided by 10. So it's like this is divided by 10. So it gives 0.6. Now what is a? So a has been, as I told you, B y has been replaced as A. You see the formula over here. B y is replaced by A. So the A is Y minus. So this minus B into X. I'm going to put a parenthesis. B is this multiplied by. So this is going to be X. On this parenthesis. So it is 
2.2. So if you see predicted a plus b into x, this is called v o square. So a plus b will be like a plus b multiplied by x the answer is 4. So the linear regression is 4. Now if you want, you can check the formula. The formula again you can see a plus b is x. So again if you want, you can see a is 2.2. So is 2.2 b is and as far as this one. So the form again if you see that this equals to a plus b a plus b is plus b multiplied by x bar. So this is the, the same way the formula has been interesting. B when you want to see B zero six point three one point eight. So fourth one point eight is equal to two point two. So this is how we calculate in a different way. So this is all about the linear regression. And the linear regression of here is four. The answer is four. So this is the the factor of dependency on regression on x and y, x on y. So if you're not be able to understand this, just watch this video on from YouTube. I just have done this in Excel format. I hope you find this video useful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.